Hey, what up everybody? This is my everyday look where I'm going out and seeing people, but I just don't want to be over the top. So if you want to see how I get this look, please keep watching. Hey! <laughs> so first I apply Cetaphil all over my face. This is my moisturizer that I use and it's wonderful, especially because I have eczema. That's how you know it works. Then I moisturize my lips with my EOS ball. Then I prime my eyes with Urban Decay. This is just the original one. I don't know exactly if it has a special name, but I just put it all over my lids. Then I take out all my brushes. And I'm using the Morphe 35C palette. And I take this round fluffy brush and pick up a peachy brown color and just apply it all over my crease. This is just gonna blend plus add some color to our crease to give us a nice blended smoky look. Then I'm picking up this white with a different brush and just blending out the edges. Take this pencil brush with a dark brown and I'm just gonna apply it in my um, outer V and crease just going to be a little precise with this brush. Then blend it out into the other color with the brush we used. And then go in with that white again. Then I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush, pick up a toothy, it's basically this, my skin color, <laughs> and I apply it all over the lid. Um, this is just going to brighten up our eyes and blend it. Make sure you blend everything. When you're going in with eyeliner, you don't have to, but I really love how winged eyeliner looks. Just sculpt it out and then fill it in. Don't try to just flick it at the end because a lot of people try to do that and it just doesn't work and it frustrates everyone. And this is also why I do my liner before I do all my faces, why I do my eyes basically before I do my whole face is so that if I mess up on the liner, it's okay. I can just fix it really quick without erasing my whole face makeup. Then I go in with my foundation. I use a round top blue brush. Um, use whatever you like and I use two foundations because when I mix them together, they are perfect. And I just put one dot of each on my brush and just pat it into my face first and then I swipe along just to make sure everything's covered. Make sure the last motion you do is patting because then it'll blend, uh, it'll seep into your skin easier and just look flawless. I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20 and I didn't pump enough of this so I just pumped another but usually I do a whole pump and I just do it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow and my chin and a little below my contour, not as much. And then I take a beauty blender and blend it all out. I really love beauty blenders for this. Um, you don't have to use one but uh, if you can afford it, go girl. Then, um, just to set my concealer, I'm going to go in with my Bare Skin Bare Minerals, Light to Medium Perfecting Veal, that's what it's called, and just kind of do that. Then I'm going to do my lower lash line. So I pick up this dark brown again and um, just align really precisely my lower lash line, and then I take this pencil brush and blend it out with the um, kind of peachy color we used before. And then I take this tiny, tiny lip brush, pick up that stark white again, and put it in the inner tear duct to brighten up our eyes. And of course, mascara. Do not forget mascara. If you cannot do any of these other steps, mascara is a must. It just makes your eyes so much better. Then I just take my Lancome. I don't even know what the color is because it's worn off. Um, it's just an eyebrow pencil and it's just the bomb.com. I just use a spoolie, brush it up, put a little bit of product, and brush it through. I basically just shape it with the brush, and yeah. Then I'm going to contour. So I use this kabuki brush, um, and it's kind of angled, and I use Sephora Los Cabos bronzer. I just got it, so I was obsessed. And I just pick it up with the um, 
for this end and it works perfectly because it's so big I only use product on one end and the rest blends it out. Then I go in with blush. This is Lancome. I don't know what it's called. I will list it down below and just apply it and blend it into my contour a little. Then this Laura Mercier Highlight 01. This is such a beautiful highlight. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Perfect. And then I get a fan brush and I just put it on my cheekbones and on my cupid's bow. Then I go in with Milani Lip Liner and sharpen it. This is honestly, Milani is the best lip company I have ever tried. Like MAC, no, dries out my lips. This doesn't. And the lipstick that kind of matches it, it is sparkly, but it's awesome, is 25. Do I mean 27? And then I just set everything with um, Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. And then we're done. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next video.